and I want to go back um, at the end here to the uh, to the beginning in a way. A hundred years ago, um, when the causeway from Fisherman's Island to Toronto's Lake Shore still existed in 1911, and this is a uh, City of Toronto archives photograph. Um, Fisherman's Island was once part of the Toronto Islands. Um, it was connected. Um, the Eastern Gap um, was an artificial um, uh, opening. And you can see um, uh, the long line uh, is like a, 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 is Fisherman's Island. You know, the cottages were all um, along, that, uh, along that area. And then there was a causeway that linked them. This causeway was buried when the, um, when the uh, infill happened of um, Ashbridge's Bay. And it was uncovered um, during the construction of the river, uh, the new riverbed. The river is going to flow basically through where the old TNT parking lot was, and they discovered the old causeway under the ground. So they stopped for um, um, a week's time, and the excavation was carefully measured um, and um, uh, photographed by uh, archaeologists from the TRCA, and, uh, and then it was um, demolished. Um, and there were a lot of objects that came out of the ground in that area as well. So, uh, yeah, um, I'm going to talk a little bit about um, uh, the, the, the second year of our involvement um, down at the site um, on the project. And, um, you know, primarily, you know, I wanted to kind of just begin this this section of the talk with um, you know the breakwater. Vid spoke a little bit about um, the causeway and the breakwater running out to um, what once was Fisherman's Island. Um, it was really fascinating to uh, be on the site and to um, you know see the uncovering of this causeway. Um, and you know the fact that um, the the uncovering of evidence like this, you know, of early twentieth century infrastructure isn't uncommon in Toronto. Um, often, you know, with downtown residential projects, we're seeing um, you know these uh, these elements um, kind of reveal themselves. However, not at such a massive scale. And um, the fact that um, this river, future river valley, is so large and so vast, um, we were able to really you know observe and see the causeway completely um, kind of uh, uncovered. Um, and, you know, we can't help but, uh, you know, imagine and look back to the past um, and, and people using that causeway. The view that you're seeing here is um, running, uh, we're looking south uh, to what was once Fisherman's Island. We see, we see the shipping channel off in the um, south here. So it's really a massive um, excavation project. Um, so in spring uh, 2020, the visible excavation of the uh, river valley began. Things just started to ramp up and so much activity, um, you know, uh, started down on this site. Um, and both Vid and I really started to realize how quickly and dramatically the site would change on almost a daily basis. Um, here. So in total, uh, 1.3 million cubic meters of soil will be excavated for this project. Uh, that's enough to fill the sky dome. Um, so quite a bit of soil. Um, and really what appears to be a chaotic uh, wasteland um, is in fact a sophisticated and tightly choreographed dance between earth, human and machine. So it really was uh, quite interesting to see that um, coordination in the excavation process. 